This video covers the high plank or press up position, or more specifically, just getting into that position. As simple as that might sound, you'd be surprised at the different positions that you'll see when you ask someone to get into the high plank or press up position. Um, in class, you'll see people just in this position here, knees bent, backside sticking out. This is putting all kinds of pressure through your shoulders and all in the wrong places. Um, Commonly as well, if people start from a lying down position, they'll just tuck their toes, they'll push themselves up and they'll just have that back dropped, the pelvis dropped, putting pressure through the lower back. And it just doesn't put you into an ideal position for moving around. So getting into this position, I'll go through a step by step way of really getting into that flat back with a strong core and a stable base. So lying flat on the mat with your forehead down and your arms just relaxed out by your sides. I'm going to bring your hands so that they just tuck underneath your shoulders and your thumbs are just grazing your pecs just underneath. So not too wide, not too tight in, just underneath the shoulders, grazing the pecs with your thumbs. Tuck your toes at the back and with your eyes staying down to the mat, just hold that flat backed, strong pelvis position and Rather than lifting from the pelvis first and coming up this way, just push through the palms and come up to your knees for the time being. From here, just tilt your pelvis backwards and forwards and just feel where that neutral spine and flat back is. You don't want to be too dipped down like this. You don't want to be over arched like this. Just tip the pelvis until you find that neutral spine with a flat back. Make sure your wrists are directly beneath your shoulders at this point. Staying in this position for a few more seconds, when you've found that neutral spine, you're going to draw your belly button in to lock in your core. Feel how that locks in all the way around the body into your back as well. Holding that strong position through your back and holding that pelvis steady, all you're going to do now is push through the toes and straighten your legs. And you'll find that that puts you in that straight, flat-backed, strong position. You're stable through the base because your wrists are beneath your shoulders rather than out like this, putting pressure on the muscles. You're strong through your back because you found that neutral spine position and locked it in by drawing your core in, drawing your belly button to your spine, and you're holding your pelvis strong and steady. This puts you in a much stronger and more functional position to start any kind of movement in this position. And that's the high plank or press-up position.